right, so here's the ending of Hummingbird. And I always do this differently. I adapted it from a, a song someone wrote, and I just simplified it so it have simpler patterns. So let's see how I finish it this time. So we have our swoop down that we're going to do going down the piano. So we're going to do this G, C, G, C, G, C. Okay, so you can practice that first. And then what is our hand going to do? Oh, our little C, E that he's done most of the time. So swoop down. And this is the tricky part. So I'm going to do left hand here, and then the right hand follows. So it's still the left, right, right thing. Left, right, right, left, right, right. So that's the same, but now we're kind of doing this. So left, right, right, left, right, right. Move down left, move down right. Move down left, move down right. Okay, so that's the first part. And now we're gonna, those notes we just did swoop down on, we're gonna play them both together. And the right hand is gonna play what we would call a C major triad. C, E, G. We're going to arpeggiate them, which means we're playing one note at a time. We're going to go up and back down our triad notes, C, E, and G. Okay, so we've got the chord C and D together here. Okay, and then our trees, we're going to play together. So our swoop down, we played as a group, as a chord with the triad arpeggio. And now our trees, we're going to play as a chord. Bring your right hand up. just up and up and then trees again and then the last part is this same C major arpeggio but what we've done is we put the C on the top it's called an inversion so instead of C E G we have E G C and then C I'm sorry G C E so this is actually our second inversion of a C triad so that our E's on the top E C G and then our left hand is going to play the other notes of that C major triad as a group. So the last part again. Together on our swoop down notes, C major arpeggio, trees together, crossover, arpeggio comes up an octave, trees together, crossover, arpeggio comes up an octave, and then we just hold this nice and long, it's called a fermata. And now with our inversion of a C arpeggio, Second inversion. Okay. And now, since we've got all the steps, I'll just play the whole thing together with the pedal and the dynamics, once slow and once fast, in the next video.